In this video, we'll go over the steps for setting up a Zoom meeting. We'll start off with opening a Zoom account, since you need one in order to host. The first thing you should do is go to zoom.us. From their main page, click one of the orange buttons that says, Sign up, it's free. You'll be asked for your date of birth to make sure you're 16 or older, a requirement unless you're signing up through your school. Click Continue. Once you enter your email address, click the blue button. You can also sign up directly through Single Sign-On, your Google account, or your Facebook account. You'll see a message that your activation email has been sent. If you use Gmail or Outlook, you can click one of the large buttons to go directly to their sign-on page. In this case, Gmail is already open in another tab. Find the activation email from Zoom. Then click the orange button which says Activate Account. This will bring you to the sign-up page. Enter your first and last name and choose a strong password. Once you enter your password twice, remember to write it down in a safe place. Then click Continue. You'll be asked if you want to invite a friend to try out Zoom. For now, let's skip this step. Oftentimes, you'll want to schedule a meeting rather than starting it immediately. Click the white button which says, Go to My Account. As you scroll down, you'll see your profile information. You can add things like a profile pic, which others will see when your video is turned off. In the left-hand toolbar, under Personal, click Meetings. Then click the button that says Schedule a Meeting on the right-hand side. Here you can choose the topic, date, and time of your meeting. If there will be three or more participants, then the meeting length is limited to 40 minutes under the free basic plan. The time zone should reflect the one that you are currently in. Zoom will adjust this for participants in other time zones. You can generate a new meeting ID each time or select your personal meeting ID. Your unique personal ID is connected to your account. It might be convenient to choose this option if you plan on holding a recurring meeting. A passcode for participants is now required for security reasons. You can decide if you want to create a waiting room as an additional security measure. If you have one, this helps you to control who is allowed into the meeting. When you and your participants join, your video can be turned on or off. If you're presenting to a large group, you might want to have it turned on. If a participant is just listening in, maybe they want their video turned off when they enter. When you click Options, there are a few additional features you can adjust for your meeting, like muting participants upon entry. Once you're done, click Save. Before you start the meeting, you need to invite your participants. Scroll up to the Invite link, then click Copy Invitation on the right-hand side. In the dialog box, click Copy Meeting Invitation. You'll get a green pop-up which says Copied to Clipboard. Now you can send an email invite to your participants. Paste your invitation into the body of the email. Don't forget your subject line and their email addresses. In this example, it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Once you've emailed your participants, go back to your Meetings page. Close out of the dialog box. Once you're ready to start this meeting, click the blue button on the right. There will be a pop-up which asks if you would like to open the Zoom application. You can choose whether or not you want to join through the app. If you want to simply join from your browser, hit Cancel. Then click Launch Meeting. 
and Cancel once more. Click Join from your browser toward the bottom of the screen. As the meeting room opens, a pop-up will appear asking if you want to allow Zoom notifications. Click Allow. Then click the blue button that says Join Audio by Computer. This means that your computer's microphone and speaker will be connected to the meeting. On the lower left-hand side of the toolbar, you can turn your camera on or off, and you can mute or unmute your sound. Depending on which option you chose, your participants will be able to enter automatically or will be waiting for you to approve them in the waiting room. A pop-up will appear whenever someone new is in the waiting room. If you know who it is, you can let them in. Now you're ready to begin your meeting. In the next video, we'll cover some helpful tips for holding productive meetings in Zoom. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.